being a long time mobile agents player has given me three things one is depression two being anger issue and three is the curiosity of seeing which hero is related to which as i have spent way too much time on this game despite the trauma i found it i got to know all the relationships that are confirmed by moonjun Hi guys, it's Kazuki here and in this video I am going to share with you all the relationships that exist that we know of in MLBB. Note, this list doesn't contain any speculation, ships or fan fiction. These are all confirmed from either lore, voice lines or comics. This list also doesn't include any skin lore or MLA lore as it is a different game. Let's start with all the enemies in the Land of Dawn. First we have Gadot Kacha and Martis, probably the two strongest heroes in MLBB. These guys are enemies because of ideologies, race and the pure fun of battle. They even created Nebula Chrono Rift as a result of their fighting. Next we have Yuzong and Luo Yi and the Oriental Fighters. Yuzong being the reincarnation of the Black Dragon makes him the natural enemy of all the Great Dragon followers. The lore is pretty interesting. Comment down below if you want a video breaking down the awakening arc. It is interesting. Next we another well known rivalry, Yeve and Jask. I have already covered so much info about their rivalry in this video. You can watch that video to get a great summary of why they are rivals. But to summarize, Jask is the king of swarms, responsible for destroying multiple planets. He was Mithloran being responsible for keeping the equilibrium. So they are natural enemies. The Eternal Battle is one of if not the best looking comic in MLBB. I suggest you read it. Jask and Aurora, the King of Swarms versus the Battle Hardened Ice Queen. The lore in MLBB is so good, the King of Swarms comes to the Land of Dawn after being weakened by Eve, but instead starts fighting Aurora and Tobias. Tragically Tobias dies fighting Jask army and Aurora deals a huge blow to Jask isn't it this lore good but since they are revamping Aurora they are changing her lore hopefully they don't make her like Vexana Saber and Alpha Did you know you can get Starlight for as low as 10 diamonds via Starlight chest but you will need diamonds to grow in it visit smile.1 and prepare to save big You will not only receive your diamonds but also save up to 11%. Yes, you heard correctly. Up to 11% of regular purchases. It's fairly simple. Visit smile.1 and choose Mobile Legends Bang Bang. You will be requested to enter your ID and server details. Once you have chosen your diamond package, up to 11% discount will be instantly added at checkout. I bet at least 60% of you didn't know about this. If you know, comment down below. Both Saber and Alpha were created in late 1718. While Saber was not happy with the torture done to him, Alpha devoted himself to late 1718. Saber and Alpha did fight once and Saber won that fight. Next we have three ninjas from the Scarlet Shadow and Hanzo. Do I even need to tell you about this relationship? These guys are probably the most well known rivals or enemies in the whole game. Next we have Franco and Ben. This is a long one but let's keep it short. Ben was a pirate. He came to know the well, broke all its rules, took control of it. Then Franco came back from the mountains where he had trained for a long time. They both fought and Ben lost. I know Freya is also involved in this saga, but let's keep this video short. I will do a separate video in the future on this saga. Next we have Ashtes and Mia versus the Abyss members. Abyss members are Alice, Balman and Selena since there is a mention of Abyss dominator. Next we have Terisla versus Monian Empire. After the church declared him a heretic and killed his whole clan. With Alice he has sworn to burn down the Monian Empire. Monian Empire has heroes like Alucard, Granger, Fanny, Tigreal, Harith, Natalia and Silvana which automatically makes him their enemies. He also waged war in Necro Keep, the entrance to the Monian Empire. Necro Keep has Vexana, Faramis, and Leo mode, which means he has made enemies in Necro Keep too. Next, we have Farsa and Alice. Alice, being the definition of evil, is responsible for Farsa's husband being a crow. Next, we have Kufra, Khalid, and Moscow. They all are enemies. I have explained a bit about them in this video. 
you can go check them out. Next we have Yin and Yuzong. We all know that Yin's trailer where Lei and Yuzong are fighting. In the trailer Lei and Yuzong go way back as the Black Dragon and Lei have always been enemies. Next let's move on all the companions in MLBB. I'm not going to go too deep into the lore for all the companions as there are too many of them but we'll give the reason why they are. Well and Valir. Well and Valir are students of God. They have rivalry or friendship going on. Clint, Claude and Matilda. They all are from Los Pacados. They have crossed paths and are together as friends though Clint sets Claude now and then. Eurodicio's Rangers and Ixia. If you saw this trailer, you have seen Ixia working with Eurodicio Ranger. I think it's enough to make them companions. Minotaur and Aldous. Aldous is the contractor in the Mino 1 match. They don't seem to have any enmity. Balleric, Nathan and Lunox. They all are looking for the heart of Anima, a fragment of Twilight Orbs. You can see them being friendly in the Fed Genia's arc. All is Benedetta and Brody. They all part of Rangers and their lore is also connected. Franco and Freya. Freya and Franco have connected lore. I have already told you I will make a video on this saga. You will either have to wait or read the story up. Lightborn members. All the Lightborn members are the Monian Empire's best warrior to fight against the Abyss. Harry and Joy. I think these guys are connected in some form or the other as Joy has some secret voice lines interactions. Ruby and Roger. To sum it up, Roger saves Ruby from the Great Wolf King. And Roger adopts Ruby while you can say they have a father daughter dynamics. I still will put them here as they never refer to each other like that. Four second light members. Four outcasts from different regions and different backstories all were united under different random occurrences. Nana and Irithel. Irithel was saved by Nana when she was a little and captured by a slaveholder. From then Irithel trust only two people, Nana and Leo. Though it's look like she might be abandoning her brother for a Ducati. Kids don't let money get into your head. The Oriental Fighters. The disciples of the Great Dragon and the sworn enemy of the Black Dragon are on a mission to stop the Black Dragon from taking over Kadia Riverlands. Yuzong and Luo Yi. Luo Yi was the reason the Black Dragon awakened. She is a follower and a leader of the Black Dragon sect. Hayabusa, Anabi and Kagura. These two are from a Scarlet sect and kind of have a love triangle going on. I don't know if Anabi feels the same after the Higanbana arc. As much as I would love to ship them, I don't think anything is confirmed yet official. Now let's move on to all the relatives in MLBB. Relatives can be anything ranging from father to brother and sister. First we have Nolan and Layla. Nolan, the latest addition to MLBB, has to be one of the best fathers in the game. His love for his daughters is so much that he splits his soul throughout the multi-universe. Next we have House Wendt siblings. Harley and Fredrin are both son of Duke Wendt and Leslie was adopted by House Wendt which makes all of them siblings. Next we have Balric and Florin. Balric and Florin, how are they related you ask? I can't believe I am saying this, they are both father and daughter. Balric created Florin while trying to create an oasis in an accident. Next are Rafaela and Argus. Rafaela and Argus, both angels, are both siblings. In their old lore, they were couples. In the new one, they are siblings. The old lore was good, but MLBB always have a habit of taking good and interesting lore and turning them into vanilla bland lores where the heroes always have tragic backstories. They did same with Argus. Next we have heroes from the house of Paxley. Aman, Gushan, Valentina and Melissa are all from the house Paxley. They all have the same bloodline. Aman and Gushan are siblings. Valentina might be their grandmother and Melissa is one of their cousins. Next are Mia and Estes. Mia and Estes are from the moon elves, a god-like clan. It says in the lore that they are siblings. Next is Karina and Selena. They both are dark elves. It said that Karina cared about only one person. That person is Selena, her sister. Karina has sworn to save her sister from the abyss. Hopefully she can do that. It should be a whole new direction in MLBB lore wise and hero wise. Next is Terizla and Julian, father and son. 
Teresla's entire clan was killed by the Church of Light and they were declared heretics by them and Julian is the last remaining member in their clan who was saved because of Xavier's actions. Next we have Dairoth and Silvana. Dairoth and Silvana are siblings. Dairoth was stolen away by Alice made him into the prince, the strongest fighter in the abyss. And at last we have confirmed couples in MLBB. I know you guys were waiting for this. Gushan and Lazy. Yes, this is confirmed. Don't believe me? You saw that they both have crushes as the relations. Gushan and Guinea were shippers. I am sorry but you guys lost. Carmilla and Sicilian. Do I even have to explain this? And at last we have Yin and Wanwan. Ling and Wanwan shippers, you guys lost too. Yin and Wanwan were in fact childhood sweethearts. The only reason Yin left Kadia Riverlands was to protect Wanwan from the lake. One honorable mention is Mia and Alucard. It didn't make it here because I couldn't find concrete evidence, but it is worth mentioning as Alucard has this voice line. I miss Azria under the moonlight as well as her silver longbow. So what do you think? Will Selena be rescued by Karina or will we ever see a conclusion to the love triangle between Kagura, Hanabi and Hayabusa? That will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki official.